Hello, I'm Troy Pin and welcome to Definitely Not Fried Chicken, which is available right now. As always, I'll have a link down below if you want to check it out for yourself, wishlist it, all that good stuff. Developers kindly sent me a key, so thank you very much for that. So what is Definitely Not Fried Chicken, you might be asking yourself? Well, this is a business management sim where we control various restaurants and other businesses. But as you can probably tell from the title screen here, there is also other things going on out the back, and that is the twist. Uh, this is very much inspired by, I would say, um, the Breaking Bad and also uh, Better Call Saul TV shows, which are actually fantastic. If you've never seen those, highly recommend those. Um, but in those TV shows, there is a person, and he owns a fried chicken shop called Los Polos Hermanos. And I think it was like Gustavo Frain, I think it was, if I remember rightly. I think that's his name. Um, and that is a front for various other things that he cooks. Um, it's not actually on the chicken shop premises, but he is, does use that as a front. I think he uses it to like launder his money and stuff in the TV show. But um, yeah, go check the TV show out. Um, and this is kind of inspired by that. And I really liked this one. I like the art style. And I do like a business management sim. And as you can see, it's got a bit of a twist to it. So I figured we'd give this one a go. Uh, so let's go a new game and we'll go save file. I will we'll go with something original like YouTube. There we go, that's good. We'll have the tutorial on. I did play it for about 20 minutes, but we'll just put the tutorial on again because that will help me out, I'm sure. Okay, welcome to Paradise City or sunny Paradise City. Uh, clean streets, booming economy. A healthy export market which hopefully will exploit i do really like the graphics on this one it does remind me a bit of uh, games like theme hospital as well uh, things like that i guess even a sort of version of sim city as well isn't it could be something like this yeah i do love the art style though i think it's a, got a nice art style kind of like this kind of low poly type deal uh, it kind of appeals to me uh, you have moved across the country and accepted a job as a chicken shop manager to be part of this prosperous community Okay, we're going to start working for the colonel. <laughs> right. Uh, howdy, partner. You must be my new manager. My name. Uh, friends call me the Major. All right, we're working for the Major. <laughs> He's got a demotion. He's not the colonel anymore. Uh, but you can call me boss. Haha, <laughs> hello. If you get this thing's back and running, I'll pay you a nice juicy bonus. How does 50 go? Whoa, 50k? Holy moly. Okay, all right, I'll take that. Pan around the map uh, with the middle mouse. All the sad. Yeah, that's great. We can rotate the camera. I'm just going to speed through those. Right mouse button or Q and E. I love chickens and they're cute and tasty. Place a chicken coop in the restaurant. Um, see, I'm not much of an expert, but I think something tells me placing a chicken coop in a restaurant is not a good idea. That's going to be a health and safety violation. Put them out the back. That would work. But all right. Well, you're the boss, I guess. So you told me to call you boss. So. Um, we're doing what you said. It's time to turn these little chicks into nugs. <laughs> Put a small blender in the kitchen too. <laughs> yeah, definitely getting theme hospital vibes. So, gee, there we go. Little blender. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, we've done all the setting up on the chicken nugget production lines. As you've learned, uh, the whole production line. To work, you must have at least one appliance from each part of the process tree. Okay, so we've got to hire some employees now. Put them to the bone. Um, yeah, hopefully they didn't go in the blenders. Let's hire a worker. Assign them a task. What's that? Fries and nuggets. Okay. Hire up another worker. And then we've got to put them on the till, is that? Yeah, cash register. Put them on the till. There we go. Uh, an engineer will fix up the signs. A worker cleaner will clean the place up. Give our employees a custom schedule. Let's make a new one for our workers. So, schedule schedule click that click the icons to change what the employers will do each hour briefcase work smiley face break house not work okay uh, one thing i would say um, is that these icons are a little bit small aren't they it's kind of hard to distinguish uh, which one it is or at least i'm having that problem anyway um there we go well, we'll put them on that schedule for now to sign someone to the schedule. And uh, employer loves working uh, their jobs for the rest of their lives. If they have annoying needs, uh, employees will need a bathroom to maintain hygiene, or with a break room to take breaks from their wonderful jobs. And you are a rayish son. Well, I guess you are a drug dealer, so <laughs> I would assume. So, um, yeah. 
was going to say you're a ray of sh sunshine, but yeah. <laughs> so we're going to make you a bathroom. I'm going to click on that. Paint down. Yeah, I'm getting like Theme Hospital or um, their sort of recent remake, isn't it? It's Two Point Hospital. I think it's Two Point Campus now as well, isn't there? So then got to place a WC and place a toilet cubicle. There we go. Door so that they can access it, obviously. There we go. And then we need a sink. We need a basin and a hand dryer. This thing's actually... Oh, yeah, $45. I was just going to say, it actually cost us money. And employees now... <laughs> okay. Is that the guy on the blender? I was just hearing some, like, um, chainsaw going off. <laughs> oh, I love it. And then we've got to paint this in next, like so. Got to get a door in there. Okay. And then we've got to do... That looks like a TV, is it? A break room, room, place a door, a brown sofa, a TV and a coffee machine. Okay, so TV. That's going to be the first thing to place, isn't it? Brown sofa. There we go. And then a coffee machine. There we go. Uh, last thing we need to do is make money. Uh, toggle the chicken shop open. This means customers will start coming in during business hours. Okay. Alright, yeah, we're looking pretty good. He's got the signs all fixed up and everything, hasn't he? There we are. Yeah, right. So, click open. There we are. Guess we can up that with better... Um, like, we've only got two stars at the moment, I guess. Better facilities and something. I'll upgrade that. Uh, great work, partner. You fixed up my uh, chicken shop right up. Uh, in fact... You did such a great job. I think the place could run itself. In other words, you're fired. Oh, thank you, Major. You are... What? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. We are here. Uh, hello, sir. Hello, my name is uh, Mr. Attorney. I represent a group of individuals who are interested in seeing an increase in supply and sale of recreational materials in this area. Uh, we heard you were looking for new opportunities. Are you interested? Yes, because I got sacked. You can trade products with the local businesses for various upgrades. University can supply new equipment. Gun shop will trade for new weapons and traps. Oh, yeah. yeah, I really like that. The art style is sweet. Uh, and this one. The scrap yard can provide new vehicles and other useful items. Oh, okay. Let's do this. Great, the city has opened up this derelict park as a new enterprise zone. Uh, we have taken the liberty of providing two free plots of land. Ooh, interesting. Okay, plots are free of charge. I like it. Oh, let's pause for a minute. Not, I don't think we're actually spending anything, but uh, there we go. So buy that plot, and then buy that one. You can buy more plaques here to expand uh, your buildable area. With each new plot, you'll be able to also hire uh, two additional employees for your chicken factory. Oh, okay. Ooh, 11 grand. Well, we won't buy another one just yet because he hasn't told us to. So uh, now that we're here, let's place a vertical road to connect the main road. You need, to, you need this to connect to the garage for later. Okay, so select. All right, I see. I wonder, do they use that road system? Hmm. Not sure about that. Uh, you've got the land. You'll help uh, set up a small basic cannabis farm. Okay. Uh, first build a grow room, add a door, and then add some beds, drying pallet, and a cutting bench. Okay. So, ah, I'm assuming it's going to tell me yet. Yeah, Alright, that's fine. Let's put that there. We'll go door there. And then we've got to put the grow plots in first. So, we probably want to rotate. Do we want to rotate those? Hmm. Yeah, I'd say we do. Let's rotate those around. In there. I see. I can put one there because there's a uh, door there. I get you. And then I need a drying thingy. Okay. Go there. Now we want a chopping bench there. That's good. Let's remember to complete the process tree. Okay. All right. That's fine. Assume that's the process tree. Yeah, we grow it, dry it, and then chop it, don't we? Yeah. You improve the quality of our products by adjusting environmental conditions which are produced. For example, lights there near the basic cannabis pots uh, will improve the quality. Okay. Each appliance that uh, produces a product has a useful tooltip that tells you uh, the ideal conditions for the product. Hover over it. 
Oh, I see. Oh, so at the moment the actual level is just zero light bulbs, but we need four light bulbs is an ideal one. So we'd get like really low quality uh, stuff at the moment. I get you. So place some basic pots and uh, we need to put lights by the looks of it. Uh, one, star, one star represents bad, two is good and three is excellent. Products are moved uh, through several stages during production uh, reach the end of the product state. If you get less than half of the available product stars, the product will be of bad quality. If you have half of the production stars or more, it will be good. If you manage to get everything, it will be excellent. Okay, so you kind of need to maintain those three stars. Okay, yes, so let's put that down there. Let's kind of rotate this around a little bit. There we are. Bunch of those. I'm assuming that, yeah, it's costing me money. Uh, you're able to modify the area of effect, uh, amount of fine tune, fine tune the design of your factory. Uh, we do not need all these lights fully lit. Okay, it's more economical. Turn them down. Click on the lights and open the configuration panel. Oh, maybe I need to come out of that. Ah, I get you. Ah, so that maybe? Yeah, because it's costing me what was that? Ninety six a day. Now it's costing me forty eight. Okay. Move that down. There you go. And there's an overlay for fine tuning conditions. Oh, yeah, I see. So, if you had another plot there, for instance, you could turn that light up and get more light, I would assume. Okay, yeah, I get you. That's good. All right. Congratulations. Uh, your farm is now producing excellent quality, uh, better quality drugs. It'll be at higher prices, so we need to hire some people. Uh, we need a worker. Let's hire two workers. Okay, and then we assign them to there. I'm assuming that's like deliveries. Yes, it is. Uh, Someone's going to require unique items that your employees can uh, use to gain a bonus. Let's equip one now. Okay. Uh, select one of the uh, workers by clicking on them. And then. Oh, I see. Oh, cooldown time on the plants is 50%. Ooh. Uh, to be honest, I mean, don't we all bo both want one of those? I'd say so. Let's do that. Great. Alright, some pause and let these guys uh, start to work. Uh, we need a storeroom next. Okay. Storeroom. Alright, I get you. Well, yeah, we've also got to store it somewhere, haven't we? Okay, let's take that. Door that there like so and then what's that uh, bot oh I see oh I get it we grow it dry it chop it box it and then probably store it yeah and then store it and then there'll be some way of shipping it out I get you well done uh, probably can now be boxed and is ready for distribution uh, you'll need to hire a guard and arm them okay Protect the product. Uh, oh, I see a guard. Yeah, okay. Uh, select the guard by clicking on the sign of a baseball bat. Oh. Alright. Not really the best of weapons, but hey ho, I guess it's all we've got. So, I guess it's better than nothing. Uh, your production has uh, now at least a little protection. protection. Well, <laughs> little is definitely the right word. A uh, guard will freely roam around your compound, or if you want, uh, you can learn to give them. A room group using the criminal education program later on. Okay. We send them to university, maybe? Hmm, maybe. Uh, you now manage package products. You'll need a delivery vehicle to share it with the world. Okay. There we go. Yeah, we get a little moped. Okay. Cool. And then we put that there, like so. All right. Hey, you're almost ready to start shipping a product to our loyal customers. You just need to buy a hotline. Purchasing the hotline monument will allow you to start accepting orders from around the city. These customers will pay cold hard cash for your product. Alright. So, at up here. Oh, so we buy this uh, broadcast your list. It wears over an authorised radio waves. Alright. So, buy that. Oh, and then we can like upgrade it. Start getting calls of interested customers. Turn on your hotline. Oh, a gym. Pump some iron. Your guards will take less damage. 
Oh, I see. So we could buy all of these things and then upgrade them. These will give us various buffs. Um, so building costs are reduced if we buy this place. Pawn shop. And it looks like it's a slow, steady tick. Decrease the price of your equipment. All right. Uh, legislation. Oh, can I have my business hours open longer? So I guess if we own like a chicken shop or something, we could stay at, we could get it open later. Billboards, we can advertise. Hotline again. All right, cool. So there's like little upgrades. I get you. Uh, so we've got to turn our hotline on. Uh, other monuments will provide. Oh, there we go. It's just We just looked at that, but we are ahead of you, Mr. Attorney. Uh, you're now ready to deliver your products to customers. Open the dispatch map and configure some deliveries. Okay, so I'm assuming that that's what this is. Um, so let's say click on you. I guess I have to click on all of them, do I? Yeah, there we go. Uh, you're now a bona fide genuine drug exporter. Whole operation is now up and running. I'll leave you to it. Uh, if you need extra help, see the criminal education program. Don't forget your employers will literally die for you if you don't look after them. So we have to build them a break room in that, aren't we? So we might need to buy another plot of land. I think that's probably what we need to do, isn't it? And it's where the criminal education program is located, by the way. Oh, I see. Place traps. Okay. Should we? I feel like placing a trap. Having a party tonight. Hang on, let's let's pause this. Let's do this. In addition to hiring guards, placing traps is another great way to fend off attackers. Uh, traps can be found in the item catalog and can be placed anywhere on your land. Uh, let's place a bear trap for now. Okay, be careful where you place the traps as they don't discriminate between attackers and employees. Or further mangle your workforce. Yeah, I'm digging this. I like this. I like the look of it as well. I say it's kind of got a theme hospital vibe. So, uh, traps. I mean, well, I wouldn't want anywhere for my guys to step on it. So maybe like there or something or there definitely don't want it inside the building well no we don't want it inside the building I was going to say maybe but no we don't I mean could put it there but that might mangle them I'm going to put it there why not uh, nice you're a new caravan and the proud owner of a bear trap uh, remember that you can unlock uh, more awesome and scary traps through the gun shop local business nice okay ooh do we get like a reward? Oh, I see. There's rewards. As we get like a torch, headphones. Oh, we got a knot of spoon. What is that? Like a knife or something? I don't know. What is that? Can we click on that guy? Oh, yeah. There we go. So we've got a knife, which is double the damage. Oh, let's go with that. Better than a baseball bat. Although, I don't know. I think they're both pretty good. But there we go. All right. Let's some pause and we'll do some sales. So, I'm thinking we probably want another moped, don't we? I mean, that's my guess. Does he actually drive out there? Oh, yeah, there we go. It's kind of like uh, Back to the Future in it, isn't he? He's kind of inside that one at the moment. All right, fair dues. Oh, yeah, he does use the road as well. Okay. Yeah, I'm wondering if you perhaps don't do the tutorial. You could just buy any one of these plots along the outskirts side. And then you could set up on this road net, existing road network. Hmm. But yeah, he's driving there. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Let's speed up a little bit. Let's go that way. And let's just watch him. And then we'll we'll set up a break room and that. Oh, I see. He's stopping at the traffic lights. Having a party tonight. Need some stuff. Uh, what have you stopped for? I guess he's waiting to turn right, isn't he? Or left. Um, having a party tonight. Need some stuff. Okay. Let's say yes, I guess. Uh, where are you? Okay, you're there. There's no time limit. There's no time limit on that one either, so I'm not going to say yes. Oof, that's a lot though, isn't it? It's like eight packages for 700. Ooh. Perhaps want to eject some of those. We'll see. Yeah, there we go. He's off though. I like that. That's cool. Yeah, I'm digging this game. I like it. It's good. So, oh, is he doing a delivery? Where'd he go? Lost him now. Hang on, where, where is he? Oh, I think he's already done it. No, no, he hasn't. Alright, he's around somewhere. I think he's perhaps gone down one. 
Oh no, here he is. I think he may be close to doing that delivery though. Yeah, it's just got to turn up here. Yeah, got to stop with the traffic lights. I get you. And then he's got to stop, let the traffic go. Cool. And then he pulls in. And then is this the guy coming for the delivery or? Oof, that's a long way for you to walk. Is that you? Can I click on you? No. Okay. Oh wow. Okay, he walks a long way around. All right, cool. Um, I'm having a party tonight. Let's come back to here. It's all good. So we're cooking up nicely. We're looking pretty good. I think everything's looking fine. I think we've got to buy that one. But let's have a look at this. Assume it'll tell me. So they only care about the bad stuff. But obviously we're selling really good stuff. But there we go. So accept. That's fine. Um, I'm thinking we probably want a... Uh... Oh. Did someone set that off? Alright, I think someone set that off. Can I reset that and reuse that? Uh, let's put it there because I think someone may have may have walked into that. <laughs> let's put it there. Oh. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, so you're dealing dope now, are you? I knew it was a right to fight you. Oh, blooming Colonel's coming for me. Or oh, Major. He's going to cluck me up. Okay, so, oh, 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 these guys are coming down here. I wonder if we could get them with the traps. Spray splash out some traps. That one, I don't know what the deal is with it. So they're running down here. We could like nail them with a load of traps. Let's see what happens. I don't know. Go for it. I can't seem to click off that one there. Oh, oh, they're all stuck. <laughs> they're all got stuck in trap. Oh my god, they're all packing machine guns though. All right, yeah, well, my guy with a knife not gonna not gonna stand long, is it? They're all wearing chicken suits as well. Uh, what kind of click this thing? Oh god, no, I don't want to put that there. Um, can't unclick this thing for some reason. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, well... Yeah. <laughs> They're all wearing chicken suits, though. Uh, we need some guns, man. We need some guns, like, big time. So everybody is dead. Alright. So I think we buy up another piece of land. Because uh, we're going to need that, aren't we, really? Uh, is there some... Is there, like, a tent out here? Oh, yeah, it's just, like, an old abandoned park. People are camping in it. Homeless. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> Yeah, I love that. They've all got chicken suits on. Oh, here comes my... Oh, he's not going to attack my guy, is he? Oh, no. They're just... All right, fair dues. Okay, so... First thing, then. We've got to hire some more employees, but I want to get rid of this thing. Let's just sell it. So, are these broken, or will my engineer fix those, I wonder? Hmm. I'm not sure. But either way, we need an engineer. Let's hire an engineer come back and fix up some of this stuff. We'll also get a cleaner, I guess. So we're going to need to clean stuff, aren't we? So, uh, let's do that. And then, obviously, we need some workers as well, don't we? Because um, we need some product going in and out. So, let's hire a worker. We'll hold off on hiring a second one straight away. Uh, hang on. Let's pause. Can I click on that guy? I guess not. I want you to have the gloves, man. I, I can't click on you for some reason. Oh, because I'm still in here. Uh, oh, what's going on now? Uh, good day, sir. We're willing to trade us some of your herbs. I want to get higher than I uh, than that time I went to the moon. Oh, there's like a space. <laughs> All right, there's a rocket. There's a Cape Canaveral in the <laughs> in the city. Hello. Uh, okay, give me some fire countdown. I mean, 20. Ooh, you get an astronaut suit? I have no idea what that is, but we'll take it. I mean, it's an astronaut suit, but I don't know what that does for us, but we'll take it. All right. So where are we? Back down here. Oh, yeah, he is repairing those, I think. Right, here we go. Let's give this guy some gardening gloves. He should be able to start 
because you've still got exports to do. Yeah, you've still got exports to do. I think probably another um, uh, export vehicle is definitely going to be the way to go. I really need you to start fixing some stuff, please. Could you fix some stuff? Please fix some stuff. Um, oh, they got suits. Fun chicken costume. Oh, drug production goes up. Interesting. Um, yeah, would you start repairing stuff, please? Uh, please start repairing this stuff. Would you? No? Yes, no, maybe so? I'm going to sell all these traps, I think. I think they're all broken, so I'm just going to sell them. I don't know if they're broken, but I'm just going to sell them anyway. Uh, that might be confusing him. I'm not sure. Please, please repair that stuff. Everybody seems to have forgotten what they're doing, so... <laughs> uh, we'll, well, perhaps we'll put a break room in, I guess. Hopefully they'll sort themselves out in a minute. Um, I think we've got to buy another piece of land. Let's buy this piece of land here. Oof, 11? Are they all 11? Yes, they are. Okay. Alright, let's do that. And then we've got to buy... Yeah, here we go, he's off. He's perhaps just uh, not supposed to be his break time or something. So, let's get a toilet in first. Let's start worrying about that next. And then, hopefully, uh, let's get another worker down as well. So we need another one of those. Let's get you going there. It's all great. Right, perfect. Get everyone back up and running again. We've got some product. Would you ship that out, please, to that guy? Somebody. Somebody please ship that out. No, don't run in there and work, run out again. Go in there and ship it, man. Um, hmm. Yeah, AI seems to need, need maybe needs a little bit of work, I would say. Uh, let's slow it down a bit. I guess they're possibly supposed to be taking a break or something, so... Uh, let's, let's paint out like a toilet, say, here. Yeah, toilet there. Yeah, I think we go toilet there, put an entrance in. Put one there. And then we can get the facilities down. Get a toilet in there, is that right? Yeah, there we are. Get a sink. Possibly put two in, couldn't we? Now we can always move it later. Dryer. Oh, what's that? Oh, a shower room. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, they possibly, because they do have um, needs like that, don't they? So they might need a shower room later on. Uh, I think if we move that over there, we could put fit a break room in off here. And have that connecting, couldn't we? Uh, break room. Let's go there like that. So that's probably a bit too big, isn't it? Yeah, we'll go with it. We'll go with it for now. That's fine. So uh, then we need to put the TV in. Like there, say. Put the, just do the basics like we did in the tutorial. The couch. Uh, they do have food, don't they? Perhaps they need a food machine as well. 450 quid, I mean. Just throw that in as well. And then we've got to put a door in. Pretty sure. Do that. You can access it from any area then. Yeah. All right. Let's do that. Some pause because I'm pretty sure these guys have like uh, toilet hunger. Yeah, they do have hunger. So, um, yeah. Not sure what the coffee machine actually does. To be perfectly honest. But yeah, please, please send that out. Are you not assigned for anything? Please send that um, stuff out. Somebody send that one out. I think we need more mopeds. Let's get more mopeds down. Like, I think we'll get like a couple. There we go. I just need you guys to actually start doing something and distributing the stuff. Oh, did I not? Uh, oh, do you know what? I may not have assigned them to anything. Yeah, my bad. They're not assigned to tasks. Yeah. Yep, yep, my bad. So I'm shouting at them and they're not they're not doing anything because yeah, I haven't told them to do anything. So yes. Totally forgot it's a new set of people, isn't it? 
Uh, I wonder if the cleaner cleaned them away. There we are. Yeah, that's great. So, uh, I think I need to assign you guys to do something else, don't we? So, um, we could send you to that one and get these ones cleared out first. I think that's a good idea. Uh, we probably want a security guard as well, don't we? I mean, not that he really did much last time, but still. I think it's probably a good idea to have one, isn't it? And then we'll give him the knife. It's great. Uh, can we buy him some guns? That would be pretty handy, wouldn't it? Uh, local businesses, is that it? Local businesses. Guns. Get a knife. Like a pistol. Oh. Oh, I need points. Okay. So I need 100 points for this uh, submachine gun. Heavy submachine gun. Ah, oh, these are not in it yet. Rifle, assault rifle. Assault rifle and combat shotgun. And then we've got armor. Alright, so how do we get points? Uh, points were ordered for... Oh, so if I deliver drugs to these guys... So if I deliver my um, weed to them, I'll get three points? Huh. Alright, maybe we want to do that then. Okay, maybe we want to be doing that. Because we want we want weapons, don't we? And then I'm assuming the same uh, with the uh, like the car. Yeah, so if I need one a car that has four boxes spaces, uh, the pickup truck, obviously that's not in it yet. Uh, yeah, and then a bunch of this stuff like artificial lights, aircon. Yeah, a bunch of stuff like that. Uh, double boxing stations. Auto boxing machine. Ooh, that's pretty good. Oh, that's not in it yet, but still. Yeah, so if I want any of this stuff, I'm going to need points. And then I would assume the same here. Um, meth starter pack. Okay. Yeah. Uh, some of this stuff isn't in it, but... Oh, look. Look at that. Gone outfits. Uh, plus safe sense using the speed for cannabis. Ah. Okay, so we probably want to just have one of those mopeds delivering to our shop, don't we? So who died? Nobody? Don't think anybody should. Yeah, so I would assume that we would want to do that, wouldn't we? So, um, like, once you have finished your rounds... Because uh, you're delivering to all of those, aren't you? So we could actually say, don't deliver to all of those. Let these guys handle it. Actually, we could tell you to deliver to the gun shop. And say, you deliver to the scrapyard. And then you deliver to the university or something, maybe? Hmm. Everything seems like it's going to be really handy, doesn't it? So, uh, yeah. Let's just, let's just leave that for the moment, but don't think we have time limits on any of these. There's no time limit. Alright, that's cool. Yeah, I'm digging this game so far. I'm starting to understand it, but I don't totally understand it, but there we go. We've then got this uh, toasted stuff. Ah, so assign a vehicle to deliver to the university. So this stuff's locked. Oh, okay. So unlock it, configure appliances, configure a Mark 1 cannabis dryer to only accept toasted cannabis. Ah. Alright. Creating a room group, setting up a business, purchase a law and mat license. Alright, that's possibly something we're going to want to do next. I'd say we probably want to get a few sales under our belt, don't we? I would guess. Um, yeah, let's kind of go speed up a little bit. Try and get some of those. I think everything looks okay at the moment. We've got the basics down anyway. Might have gone a little bit crazy with that. I'm not sure. But I do think... So... Ooh, did you just deliver to the scrapyard? Yes, so we've got three points. I get you, because we're doing excellent. Right. And I'm assuming that's the toasted stuff. So I got three points. Obviously I need to get 90, but... Yeah, I think maybe just having one of those that delivers to the, to the shops might be a good idea, I'm thinking. Because, I, I you know... I don't know when the colonel comes back, uh, or the major, I don't know when he comes back and attacks this place, but a, a guy with a knife, you're not really going to do much, is he? So <laughs> we're probably going to need um, some better weapons and that sort of thing. So yeah, we might want to expand the production 
Um, I think though we'll probably start looking into maybe setting up a legitimate business like the la laundromat because that would bring us income, wouldn't it? And then could we sell our wares to that? I don't know. Hmm. I'm not sure, but I think uh, either way, we're getting most of this cleared now. So yeah, I'm going to just sell that stuff off to those guys, I think. We'll have uh, bike one doing his rounds. We'll let that one finish. Um, and then we'll perhaps work on this one next. Uh, the money is not so good, is it? So, uh, yeah. Oh, there we are. <laughs> oh. Yeah, everyone's kind of queuing up. I think maybe we want to want a bigger room and that sort of thing. Oh, we got a cleaner. We got a cleaner, right? Uh, oh, what's that? Purchasable land. Interesting. Huh. Okay, I would assume that's where we put our laundry mats. Then, by the looks of it, I just accidentally clicked on that. Oh, I see. Preferred businesses. Ah, so like a chicken or maybe a donut shop or something. Interesting. Uh, right, anyway, before I forget, yeah, I did get a cleaner, that's fine. We've got one more employee that we could put down. Fair dues. I think everyone should be okay with food at the moment as well, but uh, yeah. I'm not sure whether the university might be the one to go for first or, or what, I have no idea. Uh, but anyway, I think this is probably a good place to call it, and I think we'll end the episode here. Um, so if you like this one, hit those thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below because uh, I'm probably going to record another one after this. I quite like it. I do like a business management sim and this kind of twist on it um, I think is a nice touch. So I think this is a good place to call it though and we might try and set up a laundromat in the next one. Uh, but as I say, I think for now this is where we'll call it and end the episode. So if you like that one, please give me a thumbs up, comment your thoughts down below, subscribe for more. I really do appreciate it. Stay safe out there everyone and I'll catch you next time.